Breakfast this morning was 30 grams of oats, which is about half a cup. It's underneath some egg whites, some frozen blueberries, and some almond butter. What is going on guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to start off the vlog with a clothing haul because your girl got some new gym clothes and uh, wants to try them on. And I know that you guys like clothing hauls as well. I personally love watching clothing hauls so hope that you guys do like clothing hauls. And then we're going to hang out the rest of the day, full day of eating and everything like that. So I'm just about to go hit up the gym. I'm just about to go hit up the gym and I'm wearing the first outfit right now and I'm so happy about it so why don't I just show you guys this show you guys the other pieces quickly and then we're gonna head to the gym so this is the set it's like lilac color and I'm so obsessed with this color right now wasn't exactly sure how I would feel about this outfit because a lot of the waistbands sometimes they don't suck you in nicely and just kind of you know it's like looser down here and tied up here but I am super happy with how this fits I am extremely impressed. This material is something that I've never felt before. It is literally so freaking soft. And I love it. The back has cute detail. Like how cute and girly is that? And then the bottom has the same little ribbing here for detail. So I'm obsessed. I'm going to show you guys the other pieces that I got and then let's get out the door. That feeling when you get clothes in the mail that you are in love with, that is how I felt today, you guys. These are the Statement Joggers. They are form-fitting, flattering, feminine joggers. Big fan. And then these are the Revival Leggings. Oh my gosh. I bet you guys have heard a lot about them on Instagram already, but they are just as good as they look, I promise you. I went online and I bought two more colors. They're so flattering. I love the design that contours the legs and the glutes and just the fabric is super soft. I had a little string on my butt and didn't realize. Everything about these leggings are amazing. They fit like a dream, highly recommend. And I mean, during my leg workout, I felt flossy. So I'm gonna take you guys through my leg workout now. Oh my goodness. All right, I'll pray for your glutes. We're gonna start with some activation on the cables. We're gonna start off with some cable kickbacks. These are the full range of motion and then we're gonna get right into half glute kickbacks. So we're cutting that range of motion in half. We're doing all these exercises on one leg and then moving on to the next. So cutting that in half, only doing the top half pulsing and then you're going to get into some lateral lunges. I'm taking that leg out into a big sweep and going into a lateral lunge. At this point you should already be feeling your glutes in knots but we're not done yet. Four exercises one leg and then you can do the other. We're going to move right into some cable abductions. This kills by the end of it. You're bringing that leg out, performing an abductor movement, squeezing your glutes the entire time. Ladies, make sure that you have that mind to muscle connection because it is so important. Once you're done those four exercises, you can go on to the other leg. We're doing three sets each. As always, you can always find the reps and the sets written down below in the description box for you guys to screenshot and try on your own. So we're moving into some dumbbell alternating reverse lunges. I like to make sure that my step is quite wide. So I am working more of the glutes and the hamstrings. I find when it is more narrow, you're working more of the quads. But we are going to get into a little bit more narrow work here when we are doing the stationary lunges. So we're making that lunge a little bit more narrow by bringing the back leg forward a little bit and this is going to target more of the quads but make sure you're still pushing through your heels and squeezing the glutes. Losing no time we're going straight into some barbell hip thrusts. So my bench is a little bit higher at my gym However, most benches are all the same height and when they are a little bit lower, your butt can touch the ground. 
And if your butt can't touch the ground, just make sure that you're squeezing at the top and bringing it down to a height that allows you to get a good stretch in the glutes. For the last, the second last exercise, we're going to be doing some dumbbell single leg Romanian deadlifts. So if you can balance successfully on one leg, kudos to you, but if you can't, you can do what I did and just rest your opposite hand on something to stabilize you. Don't put any weight on it though, otherwise that's taken the gains away from the legs. And then the last exercise to finish off your leg day is going to be some dumbbell sumo squats. Just wanted to let everybody in Calgary know if you are around UFC gym, you could mention my name for a free five day pass. Just got home from the gym and I'm about to have my post-workout shake. As always, I'm having the One Up Nutrition Vegan Chocolate Protein. It's my fave and you guys, they just launched a peanut butter flavor and I'm so excited to order that. I literally cannot wait. I have to wait until October since I already ordered my September shipment. I'm so excited. So if anybody else tries it, let me know how it is. I'm pumped. I have something to talk to you guys about that. I think you might really like this conversation or you might not. <laughs> so let me set up my tripod and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I have some exciting news to share. Hope that you guys find it just as exciting as I do. So here it goes. Long story short, I am competing on November 10th in Calgary with the WBFF and I am so excited you guys because I know that I said that I like probably wouldn't ever compete again and I definitely won't ever compete again at the national level that leads to the IFBB just because I simply cannot put my body through that to, to attain that level of conditioning that they're looking for, that it takes to become pro at that level. Just what they want and what you need in order to be seen on that stage is a level of leanness I'm not willing to put my body through. And I got really inspired when I was watching the WBFF Worlds a couple of weeks ago because I was looking at the bikini, specifically the fitness is different, but the bikini girls, a lot of them had a very like full, natural, toned, healthy, attainable look. And I was like, oh my gosh, if they can compete looking like this on the WBFF world stage and just have that experience, then competing wouldn't be as shunned in my eyes because I wouldn't have to like put myself through a slow death in order to just attain that. Like for me, that's just what I need to do. For me, dropping 20 pounds to my last stage weight, what I looked like when I stepped on stage at the Arnold's, I'll put a photo right here, that is 20 pounds and that was such an insane prep where my body was just literally shutting down and I, I've learned so much um, throughout the past couple years like I got my period I'm not willing to sacrifice that or anything so I was like no I'm never gonna do that again but then when I saw the girls on the world stage I was like wow okay like that is pretty cool and I love that it's more than just 9% body fat. They have a beautiful bikini that they need to wear. There's a gown round and it's just like, I thought about doing a pageant actually. Um, it was earlier on in the year. I was like, oh, I would love to be like Miss Calgary. That would be super cool just to experience it because I'm a person that like loves to set goals and like loves to, like I can do personal goals and mental goals and spiritual goals, but like, I love to have a goal that I'm working towards and a deadline because it literally just lights a fire under, underneath my ass. <laughs> so I thought about doing a pageant earlier on and there's it's really complicated to do pageants for Miss Calgary, Miss Universe. So if anybody has any tips, then leave it down below. Um, but I loved that WBFF was pretty much like a pageant and fitness. So like pageant and a bikini competition. And like I said, I have learned a lot since I last stepped on stage and I definitely don't plan on doing anything that I've done in previous preps, which is like 90 minutes of cardio, completely cutting out carbs, slashing all of my fat and just ridiculous stuff like that. I mean, before when I was doing it, all I thought was pro card, pro card, pro card and the insane amount of work ethic that like I had was great and I was so resilient to like the pain that I was like slowly going through, but I didn't realize it at the time. Like I didn't realize how bad it was. And I'm just not willing to do that ever again. 
So I'm gonna take everything that I've learned and see, just I wanna experience it for myself and see how it works on the WBFF world stage because like I said, it's more than just 9% body fat. They're looking at the girls from an all around perspective, like stage presence, beauty, dress, bikini, and stuff like that. So I'm pumped. You guys, I literally decided this to like last Sunday. So Sunday that just passed, the Sunday before that. I was like, should I do it? Because I saw they were coming to Alberta which usually never never happens, like it's in Calgary. I can literally stay at my house and go down to the venue. So I'm so excited. I bit the bullet. I hired a coach just because I hate coaching myself. I'm already a coach. I don't wanna coach myself because I would drive myself crazy. And ain't nobody got time for that. Somebody else can put up with me, my crazy ass, just kidding. And I can do my stuff for my girls. So. That's the big news, you guys. I'm competing again, but it is something completely different, and I'm so grateful for that. So let's just see what happens. Let's just take everything that I've learned. I'm not willing to lose my period, I'm not willing to do an hour and a half of cardio, I'm not willing to do any of that, and we'll just see how um, it how it works for me. I hope that you guys are excited, and I hope that I have your guys' support. If I do, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you, I'm really pumped. And I thought that I would do a little mini series up until the show. We're about seven and a half weeks out. And if you were in Calgary, I would love it if you came to the show. If you guys can, that would be so cool. I would love to meet you guys afterwards and just have your support on stage there. So that would be super cool. And if you guys can't, of course, no worries at all. I would love to do like a meet and greet um, at like near the venue. It's near Olympic Plaza, so we could do that shortly after. That would be super cool, like the same day after the show type of thing. So comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And yeah, that's the big news. <laughs> Today's workout was awesome. So my next meal is some prepped salmon that I had and some sweet potatoes and asparagus cooked with a little bit of olive oil. I almost forgot what the sweet potatoes were called. <laughs> I love always having salmon prepped just because it's easier than making it fresh all the time, but salmon is a really good source of protein and healthy fats. It has omega-3s in it, so it will keep you fuller longer. Great source of protein, one of my favorites. As you guys know, I'm always eating it. And yeah, I don't really like asparagus that much, but I eat it because it's good for you. And I love sweet potatoes. This is what I like to call a lazy girl salad. I literally threw it together in five minutes. Um, I have some spring mix, some kale and Brussels sprouts slaw, some fresh onion in there, some pan fried zucchini with some seasoning, half of an avocado, and then a tilapia loin. And then just on top I have some mustard and sriracha. Don't judge my tilapia. I do enjoy it. putting a little bit of fresh blueberries, not strawberries, in a bowl, but I'm putting it in a little fancy cup because I'm fancy for you guys. And then a little bit of unsweetened almond milk, and then I put this cured chocolate peanut butter seasoning on top, mix it all together. It's just like such a nice little guilt-free treat, and it's so delicious. So I'm gonna snack on that. There's about 170 grams of bloobs there. Fast digesting carbs, energy, chocolate, Chocolate's always a good idea. All right guys, so this is my last meal. Nothing crazy, just some egg whites with some almond butter and pink salt. And then I'm gonna be having a cup of the Four Sigmatic Hot Cocoa with Rishi. This is just a really good drink to just help wind you down and chill you out. It's really good before bed. I like it because it's hot cocoa. Tastes like it's chocolate. <laughs> and then the Rishi in there helps to just relax you. Really been enjoying taking this with the One Up Nutrition Beauty Dream. This is one hell of a combo for an amazing sleep. And it's been really important to me to get to bed early lately because I wanna at least be getting eight hours of sleep just to feel fresh and have a ton of energy and not drink too much caffeine throughout the day. Plus, you recover when you sleep. So sleep is important, guys. 
Oh my gosh, can we just look at my face? Like, you guys know that this is really bad for me. I don't know what's going on. Like, if these are hives or if these are like a breakout. I don't know. I just did a face mask. I have no explanation for this. This is very crazy and very embarrassing. So, this is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's workout. It was amazing. Let me know if you give it a shot. And I hope that you guys liked today's video. If you did, please do not forget to show your support by giving the video a thumbs up. How many times can I say video? Subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Good night, y'all.